Welcome to the Carbonite Jedi, where the Force will be with you always. Today, I am doing a mystery unboxing of the Black Series action figures that I have. So I put four up on the poll on my community tab, and the first one was Lando Calrissian. And if you haven't heard, he is once a smooth-talking smuggler. Lando Calrissian changed from a get-rich-quick schemer to a selfless leader in the fight against the Empire. When his old friend Han was held captive in the palace of Jabba the Hutt, Lando joined Princess Leia in a mission to rescue him from certain demise. And I have a bad habit of uh, saying Han half the time and Han half the time. And I know it's Han Solo, but what are you gonna do? And speaking of, the second person that I had in the poll was Han 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 Solo in his indoor outfit. He's got a little duster and some boots. And doesn't say anything. This is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Right there. And he's got a little blaster. This is his trusty blaster. The third person I had was from Star Wars, and it was Grand Moff Tarkin, who got blown up on the Death Star. And he also has the probe droid that poked Princess Leia with a needle or something. I don't know. And it says a whew, an ambitious, ruthless proponent of military power, Will Huff Tarkin became a favorite of Emperor Palpatine and rose rapidly through the Imperial ranks. And I think it's kind of cool because they have like four other languages on there. Yep. And the last one was Princess Leia in her indoor outfit. If you don't, if you don't remember, if you remember last week, she was in a Bosch outfit and she won the poll. So I did an unboxing of her. And this doesn't have anything on the back either because I guess the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi don't put any description on there since they expect you to know already. Who won? Well, let's see. Lando got, out of 39 votes, Lando got 13% of the vote. Leia got 18%. Will Huff Tarkin, he got a 28% of the vote. And coming in with almost half of the votes was Han Solo with 41% of the vote. So, I get to do a Han Solo unboxing today. So, if you give me a second, I will unbox him with you. All right, as you see, he's in his box, you know. I get the dust off because he hadn't been voted on in a while. 40th anniversary. So, I'm Pull this out. And for the life of me, I don't know. Why they put this paperwork in there. This paperwork. is just a warning for choking hazard. And all the techno mumble jumbo that they have to put on there, I guess, for Hasbro Kenner products. Yeah, they put <laughs> the choking hazard in so many different languages is crazy. Uh, anywho, let me get him out. Ooh, there he goes. So I think I have Yeah, Han is best been outfit and Han in carbonite and now I'll have Han in, on his indoor outfit. And then they taped his, gut, his blaster. With a good piece of tape. So there is his outfit. He has it looks like he's kind of still in his Bespin outfit with just a uh, jacket. 
in this holster. So I will be right back with him posing. All right, as you can see, I have Han in a pose where he is kind of like leaning over to shoot. And I was gonna put him in the pose where he like shrugs his shoulders. His face didn't seem like it was it was okay for that. He, he has like a, a very uh, intense, like frowny stare uh, for this guy right here. And when he does his shrug the shoulders with his gun, you know, halfway out, it, 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 he's kind of like mischievous looking face. So I did this one instead and it looks like, you know, he's about to shoot. Plus, you know, he's got his leg up, like he's running and uh, he's not, not pulling any punches. So that's the, that's the pose I went with. And he has like a really cool host holster right there on the side that you can like put the gun in if you don't like this pose. You can put it in there. And I have to say that getting him in the pose was probably one of the easiest Black Series action figures that I was able to, especially with this blaster. His blaster fit perfectly in there and his finger went into the trigger area perfectly. And it was so easy to put in there that I didn't have to fight with it or anything like that. Um, the only thing is, is that when you first get these action figures, if you want to put them in poses, uh, their joints are a little stiff. So be gentle. <laughs> and try to wiggle it around until it starts moving because uh, you don't want to like break a leg or something you know because you were trying to force it too hard all right let me show you what it looks like in the curio cabinet i'll be right back all right we're starting off with the hive of villainy and scum of the universe except for you know mando and maybe a jawa he's just a pack rat but all the others are Bounty hunters and you know low lives, except for the, maybe the sand person too. Then we come up to the dark side with the biker scout at at you know Darth Vader, the Emperor, the Imperial Guard, and Admiral Piet. And then you have C three PO, Chewbacca, Luke, Lando, two Leia's. And then the three um, Han Solos. Oh no! All right, so I had to readjust because Han in his indoor outfit didn't like it too much where he was at. So I readjusted. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, figure out something to get these guys in a better place. It's getting a little crowded in there. That's, the, that's uh, Han in the uh, curio cabinet. Uh, to be honest, when I first got him, I wasn't too impressed. Uh, I was kind of disappointed because I was like, ah, he's just got a duster on. But when I pulled him out and played with him, it, it, it was pretty cool. I actually really like him as a you know Black Series action figure. Um, and he got some pretty neat moves. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm slightly impressed on Han Solo in his indoor outfit. Um, if you have any of the Black Series uh, Han Solos or Princess Leia's or any, any of them, let me know down below in the comments and I would be interested in seeing them if, if you have a video about it also. And I keep saying it over and over again, if you don't know on the 20th, which is in five days, I am going to be having Roger Christian on my channel uh, at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time. He was the set director for Star Wars. He won an Emmy, or yeah, Emmy, Oscar. He won an Oscar for the uh, set direction. And then he was nominated for an Oscar on Aliens, or Alien, um, he was nominated for an Oscar for that. Uh, he was the art director. Yeah. So I'm going to have him on there, ask him lots of cool stuff. Come come join us. Uh, see if you can get your, your questions answered by 
uh, Roger Christian you know uh, it's like a once in a lifetime deal it'll be really neat I'm just so geeking out because he's the one who created the lightsabers and the little blaster that Han Han, Han see there I go the blaster that Han had was he created that made it look more science fictiony if that's a word and the blasters that the stormtroopers used he did those um, and I think he did uh, like background of a lot of the sets so it is gonna be a fantastic interview and amazing and it's just I can't wait to hear his stories I hope he just goes on and on and he doesn't ever want to quit telling stories on my channel yeah, I hope you can make it. Well, that's it for this this video. Uh, I'll be back with more sci-fi and Star Wars content and probably some Black Series unboxings. I have four more. I got one in the mail. Check the uh, poll. I, I think that one's going to win, hands down, pretty much. Everybody's going to want to see that one. I do. I, I was tempted just to break it out. Anyway, uh, come look at the poll. I'll put up a poll in a while, in a little bit, and um, we'll do another mystery unboxing next weekend, hopefully. I'm super excited, lots of things going on. Have a wonderful weekend, what's left of it, and a wonderful next week. And remember, may the force be with you always. Thank you so much for watching my video, bye.